Hey everybody, I'm John and this is Blind Whiskey Reviews. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. As always, if you're liking these videos, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification. That way you'll know every time I'm uploading a new video and every time I'm starting a new live stream. And also, if you like the video, don't forget, give me that thumbs up. That way YouTube knows you like the video and other people might like it too. Today I'm very excited to bring you a review of the Bell Mead Cast Strength Reserve. And I've done a review of this before, but it was only of a sample. I got a sample of this sent to me by the distillery and I enjoyed it enough to where when I saw a bottle, I decided I needed to buy it and do another review of it because I thought it was really good and I wanted to try another batch of it because they do these, these whiskeys in batches of I think like six or seven barrels or something like that. So I wanted to see if the batches were consistent and if they're equally as good. So I'm very excited to bring you this review. So without further ado, let's jump back in time before I knew what I was drinking and get to the review. All right, everybody, let's get into the whiskey. This one ooh, is a nice dark amber color. On the nose, you're hit with some deeper fruit, some nice dark cherry. There's almost like a bitter apple in there. Touch of like a honey sweetness. I wouldn't say you like you like straight out smell oak, but there's like an oaky influence if that makes sense. Hmm. There's a little bit of brown sugar in there. Maybe even a touch of citrus. There's like this tangy quality to it. All right, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Definitely gonna need another taste of this before I start diving into the flavors, but I mean, at first coating of the palate here, everything's just staying real deep, real dark, real rich. Doesn't feel too high in proof, but it's definitely got some deep, robust kind of flavor. Let's get another one in here. Picking up a little bit more heat now, a little bit more warming on the palate. You're definitely hit up front with some, some of this dark cherry quality. As it goes over the palate, it kind of turns into more of the sweetness of like a brown sugar, caramel notes. Right as it went over the back of my palate, this heat started to build up. So I might need another taste before I start telling you what, what it finishes like. But right now I'm sitting with a touch of bitterness, a little bit of fruity sweetness. Touch of heat. And it's not sharp heat, it's kind of like I've mentioned in other reviews where it's just like this, it's not where it's like that sharp burning in your mouth where it's like numbing you, it's like this slow building warmth. You know, like when you get a hot sauce and you realize, oh man, maybe this hot sauce was too hot as it slowly builds the heat and more and more and more and more. It's not getting to that intensity, but it's got that kind of build to it. Let me get another taste. Yeah, definitely higher proof and it's almost got, it stays in those dark fruits, the dark caramel, the brown sugar, the little bit of oak on the back end, a little bit of bitterness, but I'm enjoying where it's staying, you know. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you don't need your whiskey to be all over the place. Sometimes staying in that deep dark realm is just nice. 
Um, it's got nice robust flavors. I would say it's not overly complex, but I don't mind that. I'm liking where it's staying. It's almost got, it's staying in that <clears throat> like MGP ballpark. For me, MGP a lot of times on their bourbons, at least on one of their mash bills, it kind of tends to stay in that deep dark range. And I do like that. I like deep, dark, robust flavors, and this one's kind of hanging in that ballpark. I'm having a tough time proof-wise. Um, like I said, the intensity of the the building burn on the tongue feels like it's more like we're in the maybe 110, 115 range, but I mean, it doesn't burn your palate like that so much, so it's going to be a hard guess on the proof. Yeah, it drinks almost like it's 100 proof, but it's got this warming quality, like it's 110, 115, maybe even more. Anyways, I'm enjoying the flavors on this. I think it's a solid drinking whiskey. Yeah, this intensity of the heat on your tongue is crazy. And like I said, it doesn't give you that sharp, harsh burn that sometimes these high proof whiskeys do, but... That's why I'm kind of confusing the proof. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 100, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was 120. So, but if I have to guess, I'm gonna keep it in like the 110, maybe 115 range. Good whiskey though. Hmm. And it's even opening up more as it sits here. So I think this is definitely gonna be one of those whiskeys that's going to benefit from being open for a little bit. Because as I always say with my reviews, of the bottle reviews, these bottles were just been open for a very short period of time. They were opened very closely to when I reviewed them. So we need to get some of these whiskeys a little bit of air time. But as it sits, I'm liking this whiskey. I'm liking the flavor band that it's staying within. Um, it's not an all over the place whiskey, um, but it's not also one where I don't really feel like it needs to have more uh, complexities in different areas. Like I don't think it needs a pop of light fruit or or some other characters, or some more oakiness. I really like where this one's sitting. Um, I guess it's not a mind-blowing whiskey, but it's very solid, very drinkable. So I'm gonna give this a score of an 85. I think it is a very good whiskey, and I can't wait to see what it is. This is... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery. Bell Mead Cast Strength. Oh, nice. Cast Strength Reserve. All right, so we were right on the MGP. Um, as you guys all know, uh, Bell Mead, which is put out by Nelson's Green Briar, is sourced from MGP. So we kind of called that one out a little bit there. I kind of felt like it was that MGP mash bill. So let me go grab that bottle and we will talk about this whiskey a little bit more. All right, we just finished our review of the Bell Mead Cast Strength Reserve Bourbon. This particular bottle is batch number 13. It was bottled at 56.2% alcohol by volume, 112.4 proof. So I pretty much nailed the proof. I thought it was 110 to 115. We were like right there, dead, pretty much dead in the center. Um, so as I mentioned in the review portion, this is put out by Nelson's Green Briar. They put out all the Bell Mead products. This is... Uh, Sourced from MGP, but Nelson's Green Briar is in Tennessee, and I had the opportunity to run by there when I was in Tennessee a few months back. So, um, like I said, I did a review of this and a sample that was sent to me by the distillery, and I really enjoyed it. So when this came around, I definitely wanted to pick it up and try it out again and see if the batches were consistent. And I think that they were, and I don't remember the score that I gave the sample. I'll put that down on the screen below, but I think I gave it a pretty similar score to what I gave this, maybe even a couple points higher. Um, for me, I think this needed to open up just a touch, but it tastes fantastic. Like most of the MGP products, they kind of, at least in bourbons, they kind of live in that deep, dark realm, and I love that in this whiskey. Um, not overly complex, but just tons of great, bold, robust, dark flavors. Um, dark fruits, dark 
sugary qualities, that dark oakiness to it. So every, I enjoy everything about this whiskey. I think it's fantastic, and I think it's only gonna get better with a little bit of air time, especially at this proof. So I'm really excited to see what happens to this whiskey over the next few months and see where it, what it turns into. And I'll definitely, definitely be doing another speedy sample review of this whiskey because I would love to see and tell you guys how this is tasting a few months down the road. So. As for a value, this whiskey goes around me for about $60, which I think is a pretty reasonable price for a cast strength whiskey in small batches. Like I mentioned at the top of the review, this is, I believe if I remember correctly, they do, it's like maybe like six or seven barrel batches. So these are very, very small batches of whiskey they're doing. And they're making these, um, I know they're up in the batches, probably into the 20s by now, because I've had this bottle for a while. But um, the ones that I have tried, uh, including the sample that was sent to me by the distillery, have been very good, and I'm very happy to have this bottle, and I can't wait to taste it again in a couple months and let you guys know what it's doing. So if you enjoy the Bell Mead Cast Strength Reserve, let me know in the comments down below, and also let me know what your favorite Bell Mead expression is. You know, they've got a ton of, they source a ton of products at Nelson's Greenbrier for the Bell Mead line. Um, a lot of finished products that they, obviously they're finishing themselves, but they source a lot of MGP bourbon and do different things to it, and they do a lot of interesting um, finishes on it too. So I would love to know what your favorite expression of bell meat is in the comments down below and as always you can follow me on instagram and twitter at blind underscore reviews you can send me an email at blind whiskey reviews that's whiskey with an e at gmail.com and until next time cheers